capture file must be imported into the Wavelink Velocity console to modernize the Android TE experience. The TE screens imported are captured using the Wavelink Terminal Emulation application. The screen capture file needed has an extension of .wltsc. It stands for Wavelink Telnet Screen Capture. Building a screen capture file for the Velocity console is a two-step process. The first process is to capture the raw screen capture data. There are two Wavelink TE clients that have screen capture capabilities. One is the Windows TE client. This application runs on Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and Windows 10. The other is the Wavelink TE client for Windows Mobile or Windows Mobile CE. Both require that you have access to the Telnet application to capture all the production and error screens, as well as a way to move the .wltsc file to a desktop or laptop. The second process is the screen reformatter. It is a built-in utility of the Wavelink Telnet client. While the reformatter can be used on a mobile device, it has a much better ease of use with the desktop or laptop PC. This utility allows for the deleting, renaming, and reordering of screens. Once this screen scrubbing is complete, you can export the final WLTSC file for use on the Velocity console. 